Hello and welcome to this video on the Wi-Fi Pineapple. My name is Rob from Steam Labs and in today's video I'm going to be introducing you to Evil Portal which is a module which we can install on our Wi-Fi Pineapple. This is the tactical edition which I am using and I'm also going to be demonstrating how we can also make use of Nmap. Now the Wi-Fi Pineapple was designed as an auditing tool so what it does is it allows us to carry out an assessment on somebody's infrastructure and what we are going to be having a look at in today's video is how would we be able to deploy evil portal how would we be able to mimic somebody's SSID for penetration testing purposes and how would we be able to potentially clone a login page so then users enter their credentials now as I was mentioning in our videos everything which we're doing is purely for educational purposes this content is designed for people who work in cybersecurity, people who have an interest in cybersecurity, for penetration testers, ethical hackers, red teamers. If this fits you, this video is for you. But as I also mentioned, once we have explored Evil Portal, I'm gonna be making use of Nmap as one of the modules, and I'll be demonstrating how we can use this Wi-Fi Pineapple as an alternative tool to conduct recon on somebody's either infrastructure or device. Now, let's get started. As mentioned at the beginning of today's video, we are going to be exploring Evil Portal and also Nmap on the Wi-Fi Pineapple today. Now, I am using the Mark 7 Tactical Edition but everything which we're about to do here today also works on the Mark 7 Basic Edition as well. And I just wanna have a quick look at these different accessories. So somebody dropped me a message the other day and said, uh, have you used the, the MK7 uh, Wi-Fi adapter? And I, I haven't at the moment, but it is something which I have purchased. I think that it is on the way from Hack5, so it should be reaching me in about 10 days time. And I'm using the stubby antennas uh, on my Wi-Fi pineapple at the moment um, because if I want to do some penetration testing and kind of conceal this device uh, within an organization as a penetration tester, um, I'm probably not going to want the Wi-Fi pineapple with really, really large antennas. But the disadvantage to this here is that the range of the antennas is not as far. Now, one of the websites which we are going to be using in today's video is this GitHub page here. So as we start to explore Evil Portal, what we are going to want to do is we are going to want to borrow these Evil Portal templates here. So we can have like a Starbucks login, Twitter, kind of Google and the others which you can kind of see here. And I will talk to you about this a little bit later once we have got into Evil Portal and how we can transfer these onto our Wi-Fi Pineapple using the command prompt on either Windows or Terminal on Mac. So first things first, what we want to do is power on our Wi-Fi Pineapple. And once you've powered on your Wi-Fi Pineapple, you're going to need to enter the root password for your device and select on login. Once you are logged into your Wi-Fi Pineapple, you'll be presented with a screen which looks something similar to mine. Now, in our introductory video, I explained how you can get it set up and how you can install different modules. If you are new to using the Wi-Fi Pineapple, I would recommend you check out the video which can be seen above now. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down here to my menu options and on the left-hand side, we're gonna be able to see that we have got Evil Portal set up. Now, if you haven't installed Evil Portal yet to get started with that, all you need to do is go to modules you need to select on get available modules and that will then prompt you to install different modules and you'll be able to find Evil Portal and then you should just be able to pin it to the taskbar once it's installed like I have here. If you look, it then appears on the left hand side. Now, getting started with this, so what you are going to want to do is firstly have a look at what it looks like without any of the default templates which I have set up here and I'm going to be demonstrating how you can install these today but I guess firstly what I want to do here is I want to have a look at what it would look like if I didn't have uh, Google login activated so if I select on activate portals 
let's have a look at what happens. Does anything change? At the moment, it looks like nothing is changing. Um, so we might need to come back to this a little bit later. So it's not activating, that's okay, no problem. Um, if I activate one of these other ones, let's say uh, Starbucks, what we'll be able to then see is we have a preview button here. And this preview button is gonna show you what the phishing page looks like. And I'm gonna give you a bit of background information on this Wi-Fi pineapple in a minute for using Evil Portal. Now you've seen what that kind of looks like, let's talk a little bit about this device. So what we are using it for in penetration testing is we're looking to mimic somebody's Wi-Fi. And if we have seen that they have got a particular SSID available, we can use our Wi-Fi Pineapple, as I said, to kind of mimic that. And we can try to get users to connect to our Wi-Fi Pineapple with the aim of stealing their credentials for penetration testing purposes. Remember, everything that we demo is purely for education, right? So if we've been tasked by an organization to go in and can we trick their employees to handing over their credential details? This is kind of the aim of our Wi-Fi Pineapple in today's video. So what you can see here is I've got uh, an SSID which is called Starpux Free Wi-Fi, okay? And this is my fake access point here. Now, what we're hoping is people are going to connect to this free Wi-Fi because everybody loves free Wi-Fi. Shouldn't ever connect to free Wi-Fi. And uh, we're then going to present them with a login page. So if I press on activate on Google login here, when they connect to this SSID, what it will do is then prompt them to log in. And in order to set this up, you need to head over to this icon up here. And then you need to head over to your access point. And lots and lots of people get really, really stuck at this point here. And they can't always get their Wi-Fi pineapple to work. So what I have here is I've got an open access point which has been set up. I have turned management access point to disabled and hidden so it's not available and also evil access point is disabled as well um, and we're obviously not using these things at the moment. This one is available and that is the one which we can see here inside this window when I look for different SSIDs. Now, this is what's gonna prompt people when they connect to this open access point, they're gonna be taken to a login page. But in order for that to work properly, what you have to do is go over to filtering and inside filtering, you need to select deny list for both of these things here. And the way this works is that if you don't set it to deny and you leave it on allow, you would basically need to have their SSID under the allow list in order for them to connect. And this is in the Pineapple documentation. It took me a little bit of time to figure out. So for those of you which are new to Wi-Fi Pineapple, if you want any SS, or sorry, any MAC address to connect to your Wi-Fi Pineapple, set both client filter and SSID filter cleared and also set to deny. Now, hopefully if you've understood what I've just explained there, what we are going to demonstrate here is how are we able to take somebody's credentials if they connect to our access point? So on my mobile phone, I am going to connect to the Star Pucks free Wi-Fi. And what you will be able to see is you'll be able to see the different credentials that I enter. Now I'm gonna enter some fake credentials because I'm not really looking to share my credentials with kind of anybody here. And you can see that I connect, can connect. And then once connected, the credentials entered. Okay, so credentials have been entered and then we'll be able to see the different credentials which have been taken. Now, what I'm gonna do over here is I'm gonna select on view log and I'm gonna see the different information which has been entered here. Okay, so a couple of tests. Okay, um, this uh, these are the credentials which we just captured. So email and also password and we've got the IP address and also the MAC address of that device. So it's very, very simple, right? Here, we've been able to mimic somebody else's uh, SSID and we've been able to take them to a page to ask them to log in. So this is like free Wi-Fi, right? People won't think twice about handing over like their Gmail or Facebook credentials. They will just 
going to want access to free Wi-Fi if they're not security conscious. Now, what we need to have a look at now is how did I actually get to this stage? And how did I load in all of these different templates here? So number one, up here in filtering, once you have got Evil Portal installed, set both of these to deny. Inside access points, have this one here, management access point, and also evil access point, disable both, only have this one visible. You can leave the default channel here or change it if you wish. Now, once you have done that, you need to use command prompt to transfer the information from your computer, which we downloaded the templates from here, to our Wi-Fi pineapple. Now up here, what you can do is you can select on code and then download the files as a zip file. And once you have downloaded these files as a zip file, you're going to need to unzip that file. Now, these are all of the different files which I have unzipped. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to connect to my Wi-Fi pineapple. So I'm going to go to CMD and to connect to it, we're going to use root. And then we have to use the IP address of our pineapple. If I press up here, it's not going to work right now uh, because it's a different session. So that's fine. Uh, let's hide this window and we are going to type in so ssh root at 172.16.42.1 okay and enter the password for your pineapple and this is our first step so we've noticed now got a terminal session on our wi-fi pineapple here if i press on ls we're going to be able to see the files which i have previously transferred so i'm going to do cd portals ls and we can see all of those pages there so in order to transfer these, we're going to go to CMD again, and then we are going to use SCP. Now, the next thing we're going to have to do is we are going to need to transfer all of our downloaded files from this directory here, from our command prompt over to our Wi-Fi pineapple. Now, instead of using this all like FileZilla, we're just going to use SCP today. So inside your command prompt, you type in SCP hyphen R, you type the name of the file which you're transferring. So in my case, the name of my file where everything is stored is called portals and then I do root at IP address of pineapple and then I'm going to be putting it into the root directory here. So if I press enter now, it's going to prompt me to enter a password and then once I've done that, once I've done that, sorry, it's going to transfer all of those files. Now I'm already logged onto my Wi-Fi pineapple. You should probably be logged on here as well. I'm going to type in ls now and I'm gonna have a look at the different files that I have here. So I put all of these things into my root directory. So if I now do cd root and ls, we're gonna be able to find those files which I just transferred. I didn't wanna ruin my current setup, so I did put them into the root folder. I can actually remove these later. Now, if you, want them, if you then want to unpack this package, the next thing which you're gonna to need to do is maybe move them outside of this portals folder just so they are not inside a folder and you're not having too many problems when you are trying to set up your phishing pages. So if I head back over to my Wi-Fi pineapple now, if I just refresh this, let's see if my portal library has changed at all, as I just have transferred new files over. Now, this pretty much looks the same to me. If this doesn't look the same for you, what you're probably going to want to do is move the files from the portals folder into this main central folder here. And in order to do that, you're going to need to do CD portals. And if you type in LS again, you'll be able to see that this folder is empty. If we wanted to move folders, let's say from the previous folder into this portals folder, is type in move and then portals and then slash star and then dot so if we wanted to move the contents of the portals folder to the previous directory we would just use the move portals which means the contents of the directory slash star and then dot would basically mean back to the previous folder but for me everything looks like it's in the right folder so we should be good to move on now, in this video today, what you've been able to see is how we can get started with Evil Portals, how we can download some templates from this GitHub page and then move them onto our Wi-Fi Pineapple. 
you have looked at what it looks like when we actually capture the, uh, capturing somebody's credentials uh, using one of these templates inside my portal library here and how we would be able to typically use this. Now, a couple of important points before we move on to Nmap. If you're using this for penetration testing and if you're looking to test an employee's awareness, they're gonna need to be in the vicinity of your Wi-Fi access point here. Now, one of the things which I haven't demonstrated in today's video is how would we be able to clone an actual organization's login page and then put it inside this portal library? Because let's face it, if we're doing this for penetration testing, we're gonna to wanna to clone somebody's genuine login page. So when we connect their open Wi-Fi, we actually present the user with that generic or general login page that they would typically use if they're signing in to use a particular service. Now, I'm going to be doing that in another video uh, within the coming weeks, so do stay posted for that. But what I'm now going to do is move on to the last part of today's session, which is based on Nmap. So I'm going to go over to modules and I'm going to pin this tool. And I didn't want today's video to just be about evil portal. So I'm going to give a quick overview of this. So I've installed this Nmap tool from modules and if you're a penetration tester and if they're blocking stuff like Kali or Para, or if you're not able to use this within an organization where you're conducting pen testing, your Wi-Fi pineapple is perfect because this is something which they may not suspect. And if you need to conduct some reconnaissance and research on different devices in that organization, we can actually use Nmap in a GUI instead of on a terminal or in a terminal window. So this is really, really cool. So what I am gonna do is I'm gonna go over to my Mac and I'm going to have a look and see what the IP address is of my Mac. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do a bit of research on my Mac. So my Mac IP is 192. So inside target, we're gonna type in 192.168 and you can see we did gateway previously, so it's 1.109. And inside here, we can choose our different Nmap scans. We, do we want to do a ping scan, an intense scan with no ping? Do we want to do a quick trace route? Uh, I'm going to set an intense scan for now. And if I select this, this will just run like a default scan and we'll see the results underneath. So this might take a little bit of time, but this is a fantastic way to use Nmap. And if you're new to using Nmap here, this command, which has been built here, nmap t 4 av and then the IP address, this is a fantastic way for you to understand what these different commands do. And underneath this video, I've put an nmap cheat sheet, which you can have a look at. And this will allow you to actually learn how to build these commands if you're gonna then use something like Kali Linux. Now, I want to go probably back a step here. So um, let's go to history, let's go back to nmap and over here, we've got some different scan options now. So I'm gonna do, uh, let's do an X mystery scan. So this is something I was teaching one of my students about recently. So I'm gonna type in 192, pick the same IP. Uh, the timing I'm gonna leave. Uh, I'm gonna say that we don't wanna do a port scan. We want to do OS detection and we want advanced and aggressive options. And this nmap command has been also actually built for us, right? So if you need pen testing, graphical hacking, and if you don't really know how to use nmap, this automatically builds your commands for you. And if you don't want it to pick up your ping, you can actually block the ping as well. So let's hit on scan again. And again, you're gonna be able to see the output below. So this is just a very, very quick intro to nmap on the Wi-Fi pineapple, and how you can not only use your Wi-Fi pineapple for things like evil portal and you know, the assessment of somebody's Wi-Fi infrastructure, but how you can actually use these other tools as well. And you can see we've got scan completed up here and we can then go to our results. Okay, I'm gonna do that now. And then we'll be able to see the type of information that's picked up. So hopefully this video has been really useful for those of you who are new to the Wi-Fi pineapple. And for those of you who don't know how to use Evil Portal, if you have any questions, do drop me a message underneath this video and I'm looking forward to seeing you in our next video soon.